Hello everybody and welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning and I haven't been filming very much this morning because mostly I've been doing housework. I have a very nice lady called Jenny who comes, not Jenny of Owl About Yarn, Jenny, a different lady. Am I on the wonk? I think I'm on the wonk. There we go. Yes, a very nice lady called Jenny who is not Owl About Yarn, Jenny different person and she comes for two hours on a Wednesday morning to help me keep my house in order um, and I cannot not be cleaning when she's here cleaning it just feels weird um, so between us we've been through the bathrooms and across the kitchen shelves and I've done about 17 loads of laundry there's one spinning now if you can hear mm. and now it's finally time for a tea break so I thought I'd come and talk to you and film my little opening bits and later on today if I get the time to go to Asda Max and I are going to be making some Christmas cookies he's doing food tech at school and he likes to practice his cooking at home with me before he goes and does it in school anyway for those of you that watched my vlog where I went into Cardiff city centre, you saw that I filmed a little bit of the delicatessen called Wally's in one of the old arcades. Um, and I bought myself a bag of Pfeffernusa. I absolutely love these. And I hid them from everybody else. And I'm not even sorry. So I'm going to have one while I talk to you. They're kind of ginger, soft gingerbread with a frosting on the top. It's all in foreign on the bag. Ah, glazed gingerbread it says. And they're really nice and gingery. Every year I consider finding a recipe online and making them myself. And then I stop because there's no going back. Once you've made something yourself that's nicer than the shop bought version, you are doomed to always have to make it. And Christmas has enough going on without trying to make Pfeffernusa when you've got a perfectly good packet available to you. First up, I have a Christmas card from Foreign Parts. Oh, I know who this is from. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful winter scene. Thank you very much, Anne. That's brilliant. Thank you. That will go on my Christmas side table, which is where I put all the cards. Now, today is day eight. And I have a parcel from Angela labelled day eight which makes me think I opened the wrong parcel yesterday because I've got parcels on my mantelpiece from Charlie and I haven't opened any of those yet so I think I've ballsed it up again I'm not sure why I find this so challenging <laughs> what have we got Organic Spiced Herb Tea. That will be going in Jocelyn's Christmas stocking. Ooh, Raspberry Licorice. Amazing. And, ooh, a little nugget of leftover yarn. It's Stranded Dye Works, Merino Nylon in the colourway Bat Cave. Look at that. Gorgeous. Thank you very much, Ange. And I remembered we're in the middle of a storm at the moment. Storm Barra, Barra, can't remember. And it was really wild last night. We had huge amounts of thunder and lightning and it set all the car alarms off on Barry Island. <laughs> and we had about two minutes of insane hailstones. It's lovely and sunny today, but still incredibly windy. 
Anyway, I digress. The point is I needed something warm to wear. So I dug out my um, last year's Christmas Advent project to show you. I wear this loads. And um, this is the Adventuresome Wrap by Amber O'Brien. And I'll try and remember to put it on the screen as well. Um, I knit it according to the pattern, but I did add probably three or four more bands on the end. Um, Caroline of Colourful Creativity Podcast, who you should totally go and watch as well, she's doing Vlogmas, um, she knitted it the year before, and like me, she's quite tall, and Caroline suggested that I add a few more uh, colours in, um, she did that to hers as well, and I'm glad I did. It's just the the... The ends are on a slant and the bottom of the pointy bits come to just below my the waistband of my jeans, which is perfect. So here is the wrap. And the fabulous thing about doing it with scraps is that it goes with everything because it's got all of the colours in. Look at this. That's some of Caroline's yarn, actually. That was one of her Knit Tea Retreat special colourways. And all of these yarns were given to me by my lovely friends. How gorgeous. Katrin gave me that one. And Ruth gave me that one. And somewhere I've got, where's my Owl About Yarn? That's an Owl About Yarn mini. Aren't they gorgeous? So it's got this sort of deliberate lacy holes on and the ends, as I said, are on a slant um, and it's absolutely perfect. It's not, it's, it's more of a scarf than a wrap. It's not quite big enough to cover your shoulders if you were to wear it like a shawl. Um, but it's a definite 10 out of 10 flingability factor. Um, and yeah, you can bunch it up and... If I'm wearing it under a coat, I kind of fold it over double so you get an extra layer of warmth across your chest. Um, and, oh, I forgot to say, the purple colourway that provides sort of the borders in between the colours was a lovely gift from Louise. And I've got half a skein of that purple left over that I'm saving for something special, but I haven't decided what yet. Okay, I'm going to stop chatting because I've filled eight minutes already which is ridiculous and I will film some more bits of cookie making later on. Thank you very much for watching.